Hey, back for a little update on the TRX4M um, 18th scale mini crawler. Um, two things are different. Uh, got lights, um, however, underwhelming those might be. Uh, oops. We got flashers. Hopefully, soon I get those amber and then those stock ones I can turn on and off now channel 4 cool yep lights um, that's coming off of the Dumbo RC X6 DC um, they got one now with the built-in light controls so you've got cornering lamps solid light flasher brake light daytime running light uh, like I said, I'd rather ambers for the flashes. Um, maybe just do away with them all together. So what changed? Um, good uh, new motor. This is a tail motor, I think, from like a helicopter. It's called an SE-180. I cannot find another one like it. I just found it on eBay. Uh, it's way too fast. So without crawl gears, which I'm hoping against hope, or at least in a metal version, um, it's almost a little too fast. So there's not good slow speed modulation but um it sounds pretty neat it's very loud um, i think i had the servo in there before so it's an echo power 640t enjora mount um enjora horn brass links brass carrier Hubs. The links I had, I've got the drive shafts now from Enjora, all matchy matchy. Uh, kind of unique flex shackle setup with the rears. I got the stock shocks there for dampening, and then just some cheap springs. Um, so it's not like the craziest comp build flex ever, but it has some capabilities there. Um, Pro tip for anybody that gets these uh, little shackles for the SEX24, um, it comes with screws that you're hard pressed to actually get in because these are recessed in there. So the wheel hex pins were just the right size and if you jam them in there at the right angle, um, you can go ahead and get them to stay and you don't have to kind of trim that out to get hardware to sit in there so i actually kind of really enjoy having these on there i think they're a uh, nice little touch um same battery i've been running finally got xt60 connectors i know these should probably be xt30s but i just have xt60s for everything else so why not still want to get a 1080 instead of the 1060 from hobby wing so i can kind of tune the all the parameters i think you can tune drag brake um you know brake speed braking force the punch so it'd be nice to actually be able to play with all that with the programming card um so i think that's it yeah thanks for watching